guys, it's Aaron with Spray Foam Solutions and I'm here today with another one of our FAQ, the frequently asked questions we get from our customers. And the, today's question is, what is the difference between open cell and closed cell foam? We get that one a lot. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as half pound and two pound foam as well. Well, this right here, this would be our open cell foam. It's a light product. You can squish it with your fingers. You can break it very easily. The inside texture of it looks kind of like a sponge, kind of bigger open pores in there. This would be the closed cell product. It's a rigid, hard foam. I can squish it as hard as I want. I can hit it, but you can't really damage it. That's the closed cell product. This is waterproof. It's a vapor barrier. This would be an air, they're both an air barrier. That's important to remember that. So to describe why they're called the half pound and two pound foam, if you take and you uh, take a cubic foot of each product, the half pound foam, a cubic foot would weigh 0.5 pounds, two pounds for the closed cell. So why would you use one over the other? The open cell has an R value of about 3.5 per inch to four, somewhere in that range. Closed cell would be in the 6.5 to 7 per inch. So you get a much higher R value per inch. So with a thinner amount, you can get by with the higher performance. So say you have a, a roof cavity where you don't have a lot of space, you'll use a closed cell foam to get that extra R value there. Also, it's a true vapor barrier. So in areas with high moisture, say in a crawl space, underground, in a sauna, in a lumber kiln, anywhere we have that high vapor drive, some of your far north regions of the country, that would be a great spot for closed cell foam. Open cell foam, though, even though it's not a vapor barrier, it is a vapor retarder. And when you stop the flow of air, most vapor is carried by airflow. So it works very well as an insulator in zones five and below. Now, the foam, when you take the open cell, you have these, these pockets that are not necessarily connected there's some of them are open but they're all connected and creating this vapor or this air barrier closed cell foam on their hand is just lots of little closed cells it doesn't expand as much and those cells don't burst as they're expanding so there's air trapped in these pockets the air is the insulator in the open cell foam trapped gas is the insulator in every type of insulation there is for example, you have your windows with a double pane. That gap in there is filled with argon gas, which is a better resistor than air is. Now the closed cell foam, on the other hand, has a blowing agent trapped in those cells. And that again is kind of like the argon gas in your windows. It resists transfer better. So they're both great products if applied properly in the right place. If you put your open cell foam in a high moisture area, you're gonna run into problems. Um, one thing, the open cell foam in the wintertime does have a little bit more forgiveness if there is a little moisture in the substrate. Closed cell foam is very resistant to that. So again, hope that gives you a little bit more information on the difference between the products. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be glad to answer your questions. Have a great day. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and sub subscribe to our channel to help us gain traction and help more people. You have a great day.